so yeah, like right as soon as I was getting ready to hit the record button a minute ago, um, get I heard, at Vegas. No, no, I just heard a loud ass crash right outside my door, and I went, well, "That's not oh. right." So like I just that's why I said, "Hold on a minute, guys," and just muted and jumped up. Uh, Gavin, because as you probably as Dooms, I know you know cheese. You may or may not know it has been piss poor raining. Oh yeah, it has. So like when I went out to my porch, I was like, "Wow, that's actually surprising how hard it's raining." It was. You know what's really annoying is on our back deck we have that metal cover over the grill, yeah. so li- the, all the rain hitting it is so <laughs> fucking loud. You can't listen to anything outside except for the rain. It's all you can hear. I um, mean, that's the way it is over at my house. There's a tent roof on. Yeah. So. Um, but Gavin fell and knocked over a bunch of shit, and he's fought, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he's a kid. He was out in the rain playing because it was piss poor raining. Yeah. I mean, him and, uh, my cousin's kids were out playing. I have no idea what the hell they were doing. <laughs> They're... Oh, you know, things and stuff, stuff and things. Things you wouldn't have thought of, like, 20 years ago. No, you know what's crazy? Uh, <laughs> dudes, and you'll, you'll understand this. Do you remember... Like the old Flash games, and I know you're, before I can just, I know you remember Flash games. Um, yeah. But do you remember the ones where it was like a straight lane, kind of like a, a, a MOBA type straight lane, and you build up minions and throw them at the enemy, or you can just yeah. build up to max minion count and then overwhelm the enemy? Yeah. Yeah, Gavin does that, and that's what I used to do when I was a kid, was just let them throw their three dudes at a time at me while I'm building all the way up to the maximum amount of characters. And then I'm I like, mean, I, I, I figured you figured my playstyle since as much as we played together. Yeah, just build. Y- you you, you kind of know what strategies I go for. Yeah, that's why when we... I, did, I, like, <laughs> you built I'm that the fence around the, the house. That, yeah, and I did it pretty fast time and actually managed to acquire all my own resources for it yeah i mean i managed to build the house with just resources that either we had already gathered or i gathered uh um but i did that then the next thing i was working on after that was just going to be collecting up resources i was looking for more stuff for more beehives but haven't been having too much luck with that all right, well, hold on a sec. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do the intro before I forget. Welcome to the <laughs> Swear Jar. Uh, I'm Jazz, as per usual. The other person you've heard talking so far is Doomy Dooms. hi And then we have uh, our dying guest of Deathly Cheese. What's up, everybody? Dude, you know yeah. what's bad? You sound like shit, like you, because you're, you know, sick and shit. But uh-huh. you do sound really cool with the raspy voice. <laughs> I like that. Like you, if you were to like smooth it out just a touch, you could be like a late night radio host. Like, all right, guys, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna listen to some smooth jazz right now. <laughs> and, uh, don't forget to turn up that dial so you don't fall asleep during this midnight hour. <laughs> All right, I can definitely see myself doing that. That's actually kind of funny. You know what? That that, that could be your third Good act. Night. You know, like, like I I was uh earlier I went went by the store and I was talking to uh Stephen and Ashley while I was in there, and I told them I was like, you know, if if everything with this food truck doesn't work out the way I want it to, I might just switch career paths and like stay in the food industry. Yes. But go but along just take a different path. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking going along the lines of like uh, kitchen design <laughs> and stuff like that, like restaurant design. Because um, I do enjoy so, that. What I hear is you're going to work for K Tom at some point. Maybe, yeah, actually, uh, that is what I was considering for my next job, possibly. Um, that or uh, there's another one, K Tom's direct rival. Um, Um, my mother has made friends with the owner somehow. I don't ask questions of how my parents make friends with people anymore. I just leave it alone. Um, Your parents are very likable people. Yeah. Yeah. They, they make friends, um, especially around here. And so, 
that might be a route I could take, but I just, I want to learn some more about kitchen equipment. You know, whenever, uh, whenever we gave my blueprints to the guy for the, uh, the food trailer, he was kind of blown away by how exact I wanted it. He was like, this is your first food trailer? This is like the design of somebody who's already had one or two, you know, like you're, you've already thought ahead into things that most people don't think about their first food trailer. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I'm the best at it, but I would definitely like to learn more about it and if I could get a job doing it, why not? You know, like if you can make yeah, money. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what I need to do? Okay. While we're on the podcast, there's something I was starting to do and I really need to finish doing said thing. Um, Cheese and I have been talking a lot about different things uh, outside the podcast for us to do, you know, personally, like, you know, most of it so far has been shit Cheese likes to do, honestly. Um, He wants us to go golfing, which we've tried to invite Dooms and he's not having it. Um, like I like I said, you might get me to play maybe like a front nine or a back nine, but not the whole eighteen. No thanks. Cheese, I have a weird question for you. What is your weird question? Do golf courses have lights? Like, could we what do, you do... Mean by lights? Like you're wanting to play at night or some shit? The like same, not no, at night, not mini, but it's not mini golf. Okay, you really don't go at night time. I, I wasn't thinking exactly at night. I just and, meant like starting can. later so that we're towards the end of the heat of the day when we get started, but we might finish after dark. Either that mm. or like, I don't Not know. Really. Like, like I said, like, the, like it sounds like you have accuracy there. issues if you're going to be at that late. Unless you're picking like a late time of the day to start. I mean, if you start at like 9 I o'clock say... in the morning... I say it's the best time usually to golf is the mornings because in the afternoons, that's where you get your league people, your people that wants to do league or women's league and men's league. And that usually lasts to about almost six o'clock. It's better off going golf in the mornings because there's less people and the heat's not bad until around noon. And by noon, you're already done golfing by seven o'clock. You're done golfing by 12 and you're already in the golf, in the, in the club drinking beer and having, much okay. so like the best time to do it's really in the mornings at seven o'clock because five hours of golf for <laughs> holes, it's so much easier i remember stories of people that just made like go to those places just to hang out because they find somebody who gets a new course record and convinces them to buy them something to eat with them or drink <laughs> yeah cheese and i were talking about it and he said that he would pay to, for me to get in if i paid for beer and then I realized how much cheese drinks and realized it'd be cheaper for me to just pay to get myself in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm no, no it's not saying yeah. you drink like, like fish. Just when it comes to beer, you're expensive because of the Well, cost. no, when it, it it's just when it comes to beer, because you're from Wisconsin, all right, like you drink beer like I drink water. All right. Like it it's absurd yeah. the way I've seen you drink beer and still be sober. Like it's unnatural. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that. Dooms, you are the only other person <laughs> I've seen consume alcohol and stay sober at the rate that that man can drink beer. <laughs> well, like, I mean, mine has to do with body mass index is the only reason I get away with that shit. <laughs> and she gets away with it because in Wisconsin, they drink beer out of a baby bottle to keep them warm during the obnoxiously long and cold winters. <laughs> All yep. right, like seems are holy water. specific. I have heard cheese refer to whiskey as a liquid blanket before. Okay, yeah, I mean, I've actually heard that here too. Like, yeah. it, it's it's not a liquid blanket. I All mean, right. to some people, it yeah, is it actually keeps his ass warm. That's what that's I what mean. Could you imagine that. a Gavit actually, if you thought about it for a minute, Gavit had a toothache and be like, just get a little bit on your finger, just kind of rub it on his gums. Oh, that's like God. that. That's what everybody does in Wisconsin. I remember my mom telling me that we had, she had to do that when I was like two or like one or two. It was just like fucked up. 
remember my dad God damn it, giving me one. giving me my first beer. I remember that. I was like <laughs> I was like nine. I remember that. Yeah, I remember. Like the didn't f- like it. The first time I really drank, I was fourteen, and Dad and I went shot for shot on. Uh, New Year's. <laughs> I laugh because I could see your dad having a really good time with that. Yeah, he did. Um, especially because he was a bag of dicks and we drank Di Sirono. <laughs> so, like, it was, it, Di Sirono is just tasty. But all it did was make me drink literally my senior year. I drank like a fifth of Captain every other week. Like every two weeks, I, I would kill a fifth of Captain to myself because I just come home from school every day, make a rum and coke, sip on it until it was gone, and then just drink soda the rest of the night. Um, and it's legit. I, yeah. I mean, my parents didn't mind at all. As long as I wasn't getting hammered, they didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like. And it wasn't every you, single you, day. It was every day I came we'll, straight we'll home. We'll say your moderation is better than sub. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, uh, last night while we were playing games, I drank a Four loco that I had had in the beer cooler for almost two weeks. <laughs> and the only reason I drank it is because I could. No, it wasn't, was it last night? It was the night before last. Yeah. Think something like that, yeah. Whatever. It doesn't, time, time is irrelevant. <laughs> what do you mean time is irrelevant? Time is irrelevant. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, time time is a fallacy that we made up, okay? Think about it, but don't think about it. All right? Just remember that. Don't don't think about it too hard. Think about it uh, just hard enough. Um so the other thing besides golf is baseball. that what? No, just the, the the statement in general. But going on, um, brain, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do archery. So I'm ordering a bow. Yeah. Because when we went to fucking uh, Bass Pro, the uh-huh. bow I wanted, Dooms. Have I even told you about this? Nope. Oh my fucking god! All right, so uh, uh, here we go. Cheese and I go to Bass Pro the other day. Uh huh. Um, ooh, estimated delivery August fifth. That is in two days. I'm very excited about that. Um, so we go to Bass Pro the other day, looking to get me a bow. This is actually a little over a week ago now, because we missed last week's podcast. We didn't miss it. We recorded it, and it borked. Like, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> so we go in there, and there was only two reasons we were in there. One, uh-huh. I wanted a bow. Two, okay. I needed a new chair for outside. Um, I need something to sit in, because I pulled a U and went straight through my other chair. Oh. <laughs> um. So, yeah, it, but did you have the grace that I would have probably had? Yes, actually, because I sat in it with it with it ripped for like two minutes before I finally got up. <laughs> um, and it ripped in like a perfect T, like a line straight down the center to the back and then across the back. <laughs> so, like my knees were holding me, the back of my knees were holding me in place with my back against the back part. And I just sat like that for a minute and I went, all right, I need to get up before I sink down. Because once I sink down, it'll be really hard to get up. Um, (laughs) I'm just remembering that rocking chair that fell apart on me. Yeah, it was funny. That was so fucking (laughs) funny. Um, So we go upstairs, blah, blah, blah. We're looking around at bows. I finally see one that I kind of like. For Uh start, if I remember correctly, it only had like a 20 pound pull on it. And I was like, oh, wow, weak sauce. Yeah, that was my thought. I was like, man, I was looking for, you know, between 60 and 100 to get started just to get comfortable with a bow again. Like my ideal because of what we had prior is uh, 120 because that's what we used to have was an 120 pound pull bow, which, yes, I know is ridiculous, 
but well, I mean, but if you're used to it, you actually know how to actually use the bow properly. Yeah, I think Dad's gonna get his restrung and go have it have it tuned down to like eighty now that he's getting older. Yeah, I feel like the one I I just got because I I ordered one online, obviously, because of this story. Um, so we go up there. And I finally actually see one, like I said, I like. It's only got a 20-pound pole. So I'm like, fuck that. Hang it back up. Finally, find one with a 70-pound pole, which is good. I'm totally happy with 70 pounds. Like, I don't even need more than that. 70 pounds is enough to kill a fucking hog, okay? What do I need 100 and up for? That's ridiculous. 100 and shit is pro-type stuff. Um, so I, I, I'm looking. I see it. Blah, blah, blah. It is, what was it? Cheese like five ninety nine, something like that. Oh, for one of the bows. Yeah, it was like five four ninety nine or five ninety nine. One of them were like four fifty nine. The other ones are like five ninety nine. It yeah, they were just expensive as fuck for for uh, bass. Yeah, so like more expensive than I was wanting to deal with by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Um. So I do a thing. I go on to Amazon and I click a button and that is what I find. That motherfucker is two hundred and fifty dollars. Well, two fifty nine ninety nine plus tax, blah 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 blah. They have a cheaper one you can buy one you can buy the exact same bow for two hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's the dragon one, eh? It's uh the what? Yeah, it's the, the dragon, dragon X eight. Yeah, it's the Dragon X eight hunting bow. And I am very Excellent. dude. It comes with twelve arrows. Yeah. Well, you arrows are like cheap when you get the the practice ones. They're cheap. Yeah. Um. But it's perfect. It's something Dad and I can both use. It's right-handed technically, but I can I can deal with it. Um. I shoot right-handed, so I'm sure I can shoot a bow right-handed again. I used to, I've shot bows both right and left-handed, so. Um, but yeah, once uh, once deer hunting season comes around, that motherfucker is going to sit right by, right inside the back door. Because in the state of Tennessee, it is legal to kill a deer on your property during season without a license. Yep, because it's on property. Yep. So, I'm going to have some deer jerky. Oh, yeah. Or was he saying some venison steak? I'd be happy. I mean, does anyone else, does anyone else while they're taking a shit, like watch uh, PC building videos, or is it just me? Just TikTok. you, apparently. Just you, but you came in hot. Holy <laughs> fuck, that was loud. I'm going to turn you down a cunt hair. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Jeez. That was good shit. Yeah. <laughs> how how much of my bow story did you actually hear before you decided to chime in? I, I heard the last bit. I heard where uh, Cheese was talking about practice arrows. Okay. Yeah. You you the weirdest good. times, I swear. Um, Gerbil, you need to come over tomorrow with your new handgun. I do. Have you shot I it do. yet? No, I've been waiting. Okay. Um. I'll I'll pull out a box. I've got enough ammo. I'll pull out a box of fifty rounds for us to drop. Okay, sounds um, good to me. I don't know if or how much hollow points we have left over. Okay, um, I know I, I have mind. some of the garbage hollow points left over, right? Uh, in my spare magazine, but in all of the good rosebud ones I have are in my main one, so. That's... It came with it came with three different clips. They're not called clips; they're called magazines. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but anyway, three different magazines. Yeah, three different magazines. Uh, they're all yeah. the same amount. I think it holds twelve. Twelve. Uh, it isn't yours the G three? Yeah. Uh, G three C or whatever the fuck. No, 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 no. It's just G three. Or G- oh, yeah, it has a C on it. GC. The C is usually for compact. Yeah. Shop by category. I want to see it. 
I'll show it to you. I mean, I can just show it to you. I mean, I want to look at online what it looks like and everything, all this stuff. Did you see my TikToks there, Gerbil? I did, yeah. You don't even need me, bro. You're doing it perfectly fine by yourself. Sick well, this fuck. fucking this website helps me a lot, actually. Yeah. Gerbil, is, some... is it a G3 or a G3C? G3C. So it's the yeah, compact. compact. Yeah, it's the compact. What do you think, uh, Dooms? You said something. What did you say? I don't know. I completely lost train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet gun, man. I'm pretty excited to shoot it. Uh, da, 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 da. Dude, their store is so much easier to use on your cell phone. I wouldn't know. I, I've only done it through the inner or through the computer. Really? Yeah, I've never used it on my phone. Oh, dude, I love their website on the phone. It's so easy. I do, I'm so upset too about this for the magazines. I need a another magazine for my gun, and they don't ever have any in stock, ever. I mean, you just order parts from different places then at that point. I've looked all over. The only places I can find them are people like personally selling them on eBay and they want way too much. At this point, I, I would be better off buying a new gun. Like Eric used to believe that there's not someone in Knoxville that wouldn't have what you're looking for. Uh no, dude not available. I think they're not allowed to sell that capacity. No, they have to be because yeah, well, it's 12. Maybe they're not. Maybe is there a law against having a certain amount of rounds in a handgun? Potentially, actually. Yeah, 12. There, there might be because I can't see any of them. All of them that are in stock are 15 or below. All the 17 and above ones that I want are not available. Is there a law against that now? I don't know. I mean, you can only have as many of the clip as you have voices inside your head. <laughs> I guess I got 12 different voices in my head. Man, that gives me 18. I don't need 18. I, I mean, I carry a 17-round mag plus one in the chamber at all times. I carry 31 rounds of hollow points everywhere I go. But I'm, I'm not I'm paranoid. A, I'm not paranoid. I haven't, I haven't even loaded my gun yet. You will, and then we will get you a holster. Uh, I've got a Docker's Clutch if you want to try that out. Yeah, we'll fuck around with it some tomorrow. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I actually... I want to bring something up because it's local news and gerbil. You of all people have probably heard about this. Have oh, yeah. either, have any of you guys heard about the shooting that happened in Sevierville the other night? Yep. Oh, yeah. I actually talked about it about three days ago. Yeah. The, yep. uh, by work. Yeah. The fucking uh, uh, shooting yeah. at the water park. Uh, yeah, there was the water park one. What was the one they were talking about last night before I called it a night? Uh, that the iceberg wall collapsed on the Titanic Museum of the Pigeon Forge, hospitalizing three people? Holy shit, did it really? Yeah, oh, it was last night. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck is going on? I mean, uh, I mean, this, co this comes, this comes after, you know, the fire department's chiefs, two of them in the local area, have both been in trouble for alcoholic reasons. Well, I mean, if you're not an alcoholic, then you're not a good fireman, all right? I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the best firemen are alcoholics, and we all know that. Uh, I refuse yeah, to but... believe... Okay. See, I gotta figure out what this weapon is now, because... a. Everybody wants to accuse me of not being in the loop on some things, but it's just the people I know that keep me in the loop. <laughs> All right, I gotta. I gotta look something up because I want to see this. God damn it, Napa. I'm just gonna look it up on my fucking phone. <laughs> 
and you fail. It's just... Oh, why am I not picking up what I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. Oop. All right, it's called a 92, and it's a 9 millimeter. Ooh, not question mark, millimeter. Yes, that. Look that up. Yeah, I know you already saw it online, but <clears throat> here she is. Here what is? I'm showing you my pistol. Oh! How do you make it bigger? Full screen. Yeah. <laughs> How do you make That's it nice. Bigger? It is. De it's definitely the compact version. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Have you? Do you know how to take it apart and everything yet? No, I haven't. There's a manual in here that All I right, can. All uh, right, hold here. it back up for a second. To the screen. Um, if you look right above the trigger, you see those two squiggly things right there and there. When you yeah. pull back on the uh, slide, if you pull those down, you can slide the whole uh, assembly off the front. Okay. And that's um, how you'd clean, like, the barrel yeah, and Yeah, and you also see how you have a double trigger piece right there? That's yeah. technically your safety. See, it's got a thing on the side here. Yeah, that'll put it into safe mode, um, but that's an extra safety. It still it won't, shouldn't fire while that's up. Mine is uh, got a double action where um, the first trigger pull is uh, more extreme than the rest because it re-pulls back the hammer to fire it. Um, so that way I can have uh, one in the chamber but have my hammer flipped up so that nobody knows that I have one in the chamber. Just one of them things. I like a hammered handgun. I think I, it, it's mostly for aesthetics. Not going to lie. I think they look nicer. Um... But it's just, I don't know, something about it. I also really like the way they curve because with the hammer, the back part of the hand grip curves further out so it covers your hand a little more. I'm just, you know, a weirdo who, who really likes his gun and other guns and guns. <laughs> Aesthetics. And more guns. Yes, guns. Listen, I'm I'm getting a bow, okay? It'll be here Thursday. And I cannot yeah. wait till Thursday now. I'm waiting for my nephew to tell me about his. He's got like three of them, so he's going to sell me one of his. Well, once you feel better, you can come over and shoot mine if you don't have yours here yet. But I don't want to catch the uh uh the the Rona if if you if, Yeah, if if you're dying, I don't want to catch the death. All right. Oh, you're good. I also don't want so to have nice to go to your funeral, so please don't die before me. Yeah, it's that really awkward, cleanse. by the way. That's, that's so nice of him to say shit like that, isn't it? It yeah. gives me the goosebumps. I was expecting him just to pour a shot of whiskey on my grave or something, but you know. No, I, just, I can do that. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I'll do it for. I'll do whatever you want. I'm just saying, please don't die before me, because like. The only one here, no offense, who's allowed, in my opinion, to die before me is Dooms, and that's because he's the only one older than me. All right? <laughs> he's all, the only, and the other thing, if he dies, all right, I'm gonna get exceedingly nervous because that makes me the oldest, and then I'm next in line for death. All right, <laughs> don't be afraid of death. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of old age. Yeah. <laughs> You guys want to hear some hockey news? Sure. sure. So, uh, Evander Kane of the uh, San Jose Sharks, um, him and his wife had a little bit of a uh, unhappy Ooh, situation. Yeah. yeah. And um, <clears throat> so uh, he had a lot of gambling debts. Ooh. A lot. So, oh, it? yeah. People had gambling debts. I I wait, 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 wait. Did he sell his wife into prostitution to pay his gambling debts? Oh, I've no, heard about that. No, reason, no, I doubt no. it was that. <laughs> no, so uh so they had a little bit of a fight and uh his uh his soon to be ex wife just let out the how he paid off his gambling debts. Did he uh -huh. just dick? Oh, no, he bet on his own games apparently. Yep. I mean, oh. yeah, that's highly illegal. And do you know what uh you know what happens to people who do that? They get they fucked. Get, they get kicked out of the NHL forever. Yep, I was going to say band. six feet under, question mark. 
Oh, that's that a- is that's a life banned from the NHL and and, and NFL too. Yeah, so uh, he might have to either play over in the KHL or somehow get out of this. So it was really funny because uh, I guess he was in Europe or something, having some kind of party with some friends and shit. And his wife blew up on social media about how he had time to go party and hang out in uh, Europe and shit, but he doesn't have time to be with his family and hang out with his daughter and his soon-to-be son and all this kind of stuff. It was a very exciting time. Man. To, uh... Yeah. Do you want to hear or... some, some Marvel news real quick? I guess so. I said my piece. Uh, Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney over the uh, release of Black Widow on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. Same thing with Emma Stone. Yep, they are pissed <coughs> because... Which, which, like, I, I read about that, and the way it is, Disney can win this. Like, I'm sorry, Disney's going to win this because... Oh, yeah, Disney's going to win it, but, but Johnson, I hope it brings that... light to the way that they treat the female actresses compared to the males. That's not like, even that. Mark Wilbur is saying something now. Yeah, but do you know there's no way they would do that to, like, Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Hemsworth. All right? Like, shit's not going to happen to them. Yeah, but like the way the way things were happening on the contract saying it was streaming and theaters, um, Black Widow should have came out last year. I'm sorry, they had enough time to bring that movie out last year during the COVID. But yeah. they decided to wait. See for the was it? Corella it's still movie? breaking box office records too. It it is, but like in Corella movie, that is doing the same thing. But that movie was supposed to come out this year because it was only announced this year. You'd never seen it like four years ago. You didn't know that. Yeah. So like Disney's gonna win this, but it's gonna show some light, like you were saying, to a lot of the companies, especially what's going on around in the gaming companies nowadays. Oh god. Oh, man. Like I'm actually happy. Even though I play Warzone a lot, I'm actually yeah. happy that, that company's going down because it needs to be. Yeah, Blizzard yeah. Activision has been a problem for a great many years. And I'm not I'm not playing because I support it. I'm just playing because I'm having fun. Yeah. But it, it's just I'm glad yeah. the company will the, die and have the these other that, small companies rise. I still find it kind of crazy how something we talked about as a joke actually now is a legit thing. Yep. What? About the whole fucking pain Activision. Away. Yep. Yeah. So many years we talked about it, and now it's fucking finally. So I, I was got... happy because it would give EA something to do. It gives EA opportunities. <laughs> EA yeah. opportunities to fuck up harder? Yeah, probably. I, I, well, hopefully not because of the way they see that. Because they were leaving that way. They were definitely I have this feeling that, that EA is going to have that moment where they go, hold my beer. No, I don't think so. Cause they're I way, mean, come they, on. They, they're way as much they're trouble as EA for... got into for the whole loot box scenario. Oh my god, don't get me started with that. That was fucked okay, up. Okay, that, that's, that that's fucked about up. the same quality there. But, like, they have a lot more different, I don't know, like, a different uh, audiences, okay? Different yeah. people that they, they follow. Kind of. I mean, like, they I they know. have, they are being supported by actual companies like the NFL, the fucking soccer, the um, M- MLB, hockey. It's just, they have too many sponsors to really go a route that Call of Duty did. Well, Monopoly. Think. Yes. That's the problem. Now hopefully fix it because that was the problem. I just want fucking I just want fucking 2K to come and make a better sports game. No man, wait. you're asking for wait. a lot. I'm I can't wait for 2K to come out with a new Madden. It's going to be uh Well, they're already Madden. doing NCAA. Yep. Hmm. Cuz they're oh, shit, even all by fucking NCAA. I can't wait. I'm so happy. <clears throat> this is a different match. It's a different football game. And that leads them to do something I want them to do so long, which is NFL Street. <laughs> oh, my God. NFL Love Street. that game. You remember fucking Blitz the League? Yes, yes. that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> oh, Blitz my God. Blitz. That's going to bring Blitz, too. Because Blitz was made by uh, 2K, wasn't it? I don't remember. It's Dude, probably done. Gerbil, what was the, the basketball version of Blitz? It was a like just blitz. it was NBA Street. It was NBA yeah. Street or something. The one where we oh, yeah. it was like three on three. 
Yeah. 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 The one we had yeah. on the 64. I remember we used to literally pull a little, like, what was it, gerbil, like maybe 24 inch tube monitor out into the living room so we could watch TV and play six, the Nintendo 64. And the worst part about that scenario is, Gerbil, how old were we when we were doing that? Like 20? 22? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we, we had fucking PS3, yeah. fucking Xbox 360, and we'd pull the goddamn PS or the Nintendo 64 out and play on mm-hmm. it. Yep. Because, you know, the classics are deadly. You know, Blitz, uh, Blitz the League was made by Midway. Midway, that's what it was. Oh, Midway. They used to make the uh, off road racing game that we used yep. to play. Um, you want to hear something really fucking annoying, too? The, uh, the new Pokemon Snap update had been announced a little while ago, probably about a week or two ago. Like, maybe, not really announced, but really started hyped up about about a week ago. Um, it comes out today. Or at least I thought it came out today. It comes out tonight, technically in about 15 to 20 minutes at 9 o'clock p.m. Who the fuck puts an update for a kid's game out at 9 o'clock p.m.? What the fuck, Nintendo? Oh, you think you're going to play a game? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't play a game before bed. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have any idea how upset I am? I was supposed to come home from work today, and Gavin and I were going to take pictures of Pokemon together. All right? I mean, now... I mean, honestly, it's not that big a deal. We're going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I was super excited to come home. They have three new levels, a day and a night form for each. And I think it's something like 100 or 120 new Pokemon. Um, they added Feraligator. I can't wait to see him. They added Yay. Snorlax. Uh, they put some stuff from the original Pokemon Snap in. The, the, uh, the swimming Psyduck from the original Pokemon Snap's in it. Um, I think they, uh, I from all the uh, advertising stuff I've seen, I think they added Mew because there's a Mew in like every goddamn one of them. They have a picture of Mew, and I'm like, I can't tell if this is just a picture of Mew that they made up or if like why. So when we finish this podcast, I'm gonna go update the Switch and I'm gonna play that because <laughs> um, I. I'm too excited to wait for Gavin tomorrow. Well, I might have to because he hasn't beaten, <laughs> he hasn't beaten the game on his file yet. Um, the f- the last part of the game, I'm not going to say it's hard because it's not, but I will say it took me two tries because the first try I didn't figure out what I was supposed to do until I was part way through, and then I went, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that mechanic." that you haven't had me do in like, I don't know, five levels at least now. Cool. Um, so I, I, the second time around I got it and then I beat the game and I was like, Oh, okay, cool. I hope there's DLC for it. And not only are they putting out DLC, they're putting it out for free. Like you don't have to pay for it. Just here you go. That's nice. Well, I mean, I'm sure that they're going to make, plenty of money off it i'm sure there's plenty of streamers who were waiting for you know it to launch in their area and then are going to go live about half hour in about you know an hour half hour to an hour yeah yeah because from the look of it i couldn't all the time it showed different time zones um it seems like it's coming out at nine o'clock hour time but it's going to be at the exact same time around the world. It's getting updated. So considering it's a game that's like 95% like text and just a few voiceover things, I'm sure they didn't even have to add any new voiceover stuff. It's just like, you know, maybe them say, oh, oh wow. And then it's all text, you know, it's not really that big a deal. <laughs> So I did have, I I have one jazz session question. They've not been, I've not been doing too much of these because like, honestly, some of them give me my own existential crisis that I don't wish to inflict on other people. Okay. Although I'm going to, I'm going to give everybody one. Okay. 
And I gave this one uh, to my father the other night because I love posing <laughs> interesting questions to him uh, and mostly seeing how he reacts, which is usually like, you're not wrong, but I don't, I don't know. So this is a religion based one. So brush up on your Genesis real quick and uh, <laughs> let's get into it. Um, at the beginning of time, according to the Bible, God went through a series of steps, essentially, to create things. Correct? Am I, am I correct on this? Hypothetically. Hypothet yes, hypothetically. Hypothetically speaking. Um, I don't know which day it was. I would assume on the first day, uh, just because it would make sense for that. He, God said, let there be light. And, oh, yeah, that would be one. Okay. And God said, let there be light. Well, that's an interesting command, isn't it? Let there be light. We'll just go ahead and start with that. Uh, actually, that's all it's really going to be about, is let there be light. So, if you go back and read the old Latin Bible, it says let there be light, you know, in Latin, obviously. But then later on, it explicitly names a character, Lucifer. Alright, my buddy Satan. And, um, does anybody here know what Lucifer means in Latin? By chance, it, it just me. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, but cool. So Lucifer means light bringer. Okay. Okay. So was God creating Lucifer in the beginning, or was he creating actual light? Because he said, "Let there be light," and Lucifer is the light bringer. So did he create Lucifer, and Lucifer create the sun? Like, what the fuck? How did that happen? And I, I posted. Sounds like you're potentially jumping a few steps, but all right. I mean, not really, because I'm just I'm just bringing wordage, like verbiage, to the forefront. I'm reading it literally, okay. And that's the way I enjoy I enjoy messing with people on the Bible because I know it better than most of my family, um, and so I like to just poke at them with all the inconsistencies in it. Because I think the Bible in and of itself is a great, it's gr a great way to like try and live your life if you can actually read it the right way and actually understand like that most of it is allegory and it is meant to teach you a better way to live your life. Um, but it's also like kind of fucked up at points, man. Like. I don't want to go, go like you know Bible bashing or anything like that. But if it, do either any of you guys know the story of Job in the Bible? Like what happens to him? That poor fucking sap. Nope. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, Job was such a devout Christian, such a believer in God that, and I'm gonna paraphrase here. The long and the short of it is that God and Satan made a bet that. You know, if God would stop giving Job all of his this love and attention, Job would turn his back on God and would, would turn towards Satan. And God went, no, he loves me too much for that. And Satan went, oh, yeah? Killed his crops. Still loved God. Went, all right, all right. Killed all of his livestock. Still loved God. This whole story is about still loving God, by the way. Um, and he fucking kills his whole family, covers him in boils, gives him leprosy, and the whole time he stays devout to God. The whole time, I'm thinking, man, you guys are in a bet, and you killed that man's whole family. Like, you killed his family over a bet, and you're supposed to be these awesome divine beings. What in the actual fuck am I reading here? <laughs> All right, like, that's why I say the Bible's... There are certain points in the Bible that are totally metal. Like, I love Revelations. Revelations is fucking awesome. But like it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense at all. Like a beast with seven heads and ten horns and foul breath. I mean, cool, a hydra. You know, like just kinda weird. Okay. Um We're we're getting to the end. Let me do the uh let me do my daily holidays because there's a <laughs> there's a really funny one first thing on the list. All right, because there's two of them back-to-back -back I'm going to read. Wednesday, August 4th, 
Barack Obama's birthday and National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Hmm. Is Barack Obama the cookie monster? <laughs> Quite the jump, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thursday, August 5th, National Oyster Day. Oh, that sounds so fucking good. I didn't even get to my jazz session question. I'm just staring at it. I'm going to get to it after I finish this. Because it's it just a question. One at a time. Keep focused here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friday, August 6th. You know what? For cheese, International Beer Day. Yeah. What is that? The fifth? Uh, the sixth. Friday. 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 It is also National Root Beer Float Day. Um. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to read all of these because they mean something. One, The first one, fuck you, cheese. Na- okay, Saturday, August 7th, National Disc Golf Day. You play disc golf, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I haven't played disc golf, uh, disc golf in like forever. All right. Uh, the next one, National Lighthouse Day. Uh, Gerbil and I's late grandmother loved lighthouses, and I'm going to get a tattoo of a lighthouse to commemorate her. Um, also, National Mustard Day. All right, love me some mustard. I'm all about that shit. Uh, and then this one I can't forget about, uh, Purple Heart Day. You know, thank any veterans, you know. If they have Purple Heart, they, uh, they've seen some shit. All right, I'd thank them twice. Yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, Sunday, August 8th. What the fuck? Happiness Happens Day. That sounds made up. That sounds like somebody's selling something. Like they're trying to push Hallmark cards or some shit. What the fuck? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. The secret... (sighs) I can't believe I'm going to read this. The Secret Society of Happy People, founded in 1998 by Pamela Gale Johnson, was originally a secret society to allow members to talk about everything that made them happy because they were genuinely happy people. But, what? What? Oh my, okay. But they did so secretly so as to not allow overhearing Debbie Downers to reign on their parade. And this came your their slogan. Are you happier than you admit you are? What? Wow. Uh, you, you, you know that was made up because I've never heard somebody use Debbie Downer as an actual description that wasn't tried to be a, just a prick. That's why it blew my mind and I had to reread that paragraph, part of the paragraph, because I was like, did they really just use Debbie Downers like that? I can't believe they mm-hmm. did. Okay. Um... This one, holiday. <coughs> I'm super excited to read. Hold on. National Sneak Some Zucchini Onto Your Neighbor's Porch Day. <laughs> I what? don't think I have any, unfortunately. Okay. It's that It'd be time hard of... to sneak on your porch anyways, just because you have a camera. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's that time of year when gardeners have way too much zucchini on their hands. And so, August 8th, is National Sneak Some Zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day. Those tasty zucchini plants are so rich in produce. Why are they rich in produce? All right, that even the most hardcore zucchini muncher will struggle to eat it. How can you be so rich in produce that you can't eat? That that verbiage does not work. All right, with that in mind... This is, this is fake holidays. Again, has to be with verbiage like that because you know these are holidays that somebody made up that they forgot to fucking proofread is bright being melted for a second okay we're not sure exactly when the first national sneakers zucchini day blah 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 <laughs> was celebrated but we do know that Wait. it was a brainchild of Thomas Roy who also invented National No Socks Day and Humbug Day. <laughs> Humbug. Oh my I, I mean fuck. those are all fake holidays by the sounds of Oh my god. Here's one for uh for cheese, uh International Cat Day. 
fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> Some cats and shit. Monday, August 9th, is, Islamic New minute. Year. Why is Islamic New Year on that day? I guess it's got something to do with the lunar calendar. Um, National Book Lovers Day and National Women's Day. I didn't know that was Monday. That's that's coming up real soon. Uh, Tuesday, August 10th, National Lazy Day. Uh, that's a fake holiday. National S'mores Day, another one. National Spoil Your Dog Day. These fake are all AF fake holiday. holidays. I love this bit because, like, we learn that 90% of holidays are fake. Like, and I just, mean, holidays are just a way to promote actual other items so that they could actually go on sale and people try to make a profit. That's my argument, and I'm sticking to it. Money grabbing, yeah. There was something else I saw the other day that I wanted. Okay, fuck that. All right. I'm going to ask a jazz session question, and then we're going to do the closing statements. All right? Like a, like a fucking courtroom. All right. <laughs> if you, It's two questions. All right? The first one is going to be kind of easy. Actually, they're both going to be kind of easy. Uh, if you had the ability or could have the ability to turn into an animal, which animal would you choose? All right? And, and it's, it's not... <laughs> I'm trying to think the right way to explain this to you guys because it is meant to be based it's like what individual like can I choose just like, one animal. a hive mind type of effect? N- no, you can't be like a queen bee, bitch. No, I wasn't gonna be that, but I mean, um, but if you could turn into an animal, what would you choose? All right. Liger. Liger, a liger, that's, really that's, gerbil. That, that, that's not a real animal. Yes, it I, I is. Know, I just, I, yes, I, I, actually, I, yes, it is. It is. It is a lion and a tiger crossbreed, and it is real. Look it up. Hold on. I'll, Siberian I'll... husky. A Siberian husky. Interesting choice. I want to have an excuse to be cute, but yet be destructive. Uh, be a pomeranian. The liger is a hybrid <laughs> offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they exist. Liger zero. No, you Sorry. lose your ass. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't. They're huge. Holy fuck are they big. God damn, gerbil. Alright, Cheese, do you know what kind of animal you would want to be? A monkey. A monkey? You want to keep your opposable thumbs, don't you? And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Eh. Dooms, what did you say? I didn't even hear you. I hadn't said anything yet because okay. you were already shooting some of my ideas down. I mean, yeah, that's because you're trying to be a hive mind. Just be a fucking animal. <laughs> Gerbil picked a normal animal. Do like cheese picked a normal animal. I'm gonna pick all a right, normal. All right, all right, all right. What would you be? Uh, probably like a basculus, honestly. A basculus, like a big ass snake. No, 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 no. Uh, like the actual like little lizard basculus. Oh, why would you want to be a tiny ass lizard? Be able to get away from you really fucking fast. God damn it, Nappa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, whatever. Um, I would want to be a bat just so I could make people think I was a vampire. <laughs> And I, I would just make really bad it's Dracula such puns. a nice game thing to say. Uh, like, I would just just turn in, just say random, really bad... He's here to suck on your fruit. Yes. I want to suck your blood! And then just turn into a bat and fly away. Like, people would be like, what the fuck just happened? Alright, like, I would just want to be a cryptid, essentially. Yeah. And that's an interesting choice. Cryptids are nice. Like, be a cryptid. Uh... I did while ordering those, uh, while ordering my bow, ordered a couple of books to do some like episode things on. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but Jenny's got to let me borrow a book to read too. But that's that might be a while. I still want to do a uh, 
an episode on JFK in November. But he, that's that's if we can get our shit together and actually focus long enough to do an episode that's not random and chaotic. I mean, I'm listening to the master of random off topic. Yeah. yeah. That is really true, by the way. That's why I need a script. All right. Write, write you a script, dude. Oh yeah, because I'm I'm really yeah, good at like writing. Yeah, stick to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. How long did it take you to get around to your jazz co- your question? Because you went, you started to do it, and then you took a moment, and then you're just like, "Let's do the holidays," and now we're back to the jazz session question. Yeah, yeah. I hate to say it, you're you're about as you know well constructed as Cody's favorite thing to drive around. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that even supposed to mean? That means hey, your car is uh, in pieces no, he, at the moment. No, I, I just oh, yeah. know that he likes roundabouts. Oh, There's nothing wrong with roundabouts. Oh, you're you're very roundabout me. nature. I am. Oh, I actually, yeah. I actually made a video of me going around about in Wisconsin. I was supposed to say it to you guys. <laughs> <but I> <laughs> like, oh my god, I went through three of them and I recorded the whole goddamn thing. And I was like, yep, yep, this is Wisconsin. See this? Awesome. And then the last one, I went around it twice. Just, <laughs> just so I can. Oh, Jesus wept. All right. It was awesome. I felt like I was at home. Hey, I mean, at least you're not, uh, at least you're not um, doing, uh, what course am I doing? Situation awareness class right now. Oh, boy. Man, situation awareness. That sounds like, uh, a lot of fun. Uh-huh. Like, About like watching paint dry. Uh-huh. But it counts as it counts as training hours. And yeah. if I get fifteen or twenty hours of training in a year, the state gives me six hundred bucks. Well, you know. Not seeing a downside here. Yeah, I'm not either. Like I mean it's a little boring, but I'm learning and six hundred bucks is six hundred bucks. <laughs> You'd do it too for six hundred bucks. Uh-huh. I don't know. We tried to see if Cheese would cuddle up with uh, our creepy president for another stimmy, and <laughs> the thoughts no. that went through my brain of him and and our creepy ass president cuddling, I almost threw up. To be honest, I mean, I would have. Because you just cause you just imagine my nipple is tits. All right, on that note, uh, thank you all for listening. Um, You get another gold star for making it through this fucking episode. God damn. Uh, fuck. You just you just completely fucked my brain on that. You you can you can get out with an age. Yeah. We have to tell them the story too, which is gonna be funny. We have to situation situation awareness. Situationally aware that I walked into a visual minefield. Yeah, why did I join this cast tonight again? Uh, because you started off by saying, uh, honestly, you should have been recording earlier when you joined. God damn it, driver. <laughs> You're the one who has to edit this shit. I don't care. I still have to send it to you. you. Fuck. All right. Yep. That you do. God damn it. All right. For the That's fourth the time, Gerbil and the podcast. <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for checking out the podcast hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button over there on youtube make sure you hit that subscribe button if you liked it on any other platform feel free to follow us we really do appreciate it and um also feel free to go check out us uh check out check us uh, check it check it whatever the fuck i was trying to say wow. check us out over there what was i gonna say he's I dying said, Check, check out us. And that's what I said, and I didn't mean to say that. Oh my god, you just stumbled so hard. <laughs> I was doing good, and I fucking fell off. Check, the check, side, check, bro. check, 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 check it out. <laughs> Beastie Boys would be proud of me, but um. <laughs> Anyway, feel free to go check us out over there on Twitch, and as well as Sir Cheese, who is unfortunately not feeling the greatest, but he is still here. So feel free to go check him out over there as well. Oh yeah, and all of our uh, all of our social pages. But besides that, man, y'all have a great night, and we will see you guys later. Hail Satan and hail yourselves. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>